नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल एब्सोल्यूट हमबक परजरी डिफायंस दीज वर द वर्ड्स यूज्ड बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट व्हेन दे वर हियरिंग पतंजलि पतंजलि वाज स्लैम्ड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट well i'm going to talk to you about patanjali and the supreme court uh, case against patanjali and why supreme court was so livid with patanjali i also want to take this occasion to say that this is the situation in india currently so this case while it is of patanjali and while we will view it from a patanjali point of view this case and this attitude is larger in this country that's my topic tonight let's get right into the show so patanjali like i had done an editorial before patanjali has been absolutely breaching every rule in the book you see as advertisers 30 years in advertising there is one thing we learn in advertising is to put facts across a decent product a decent brand and a decent advertising agency will never put up something which cheats its audience we never put up things that cheat our audience we take extra care to not claim anything in an ad which is false so all this talk about dream merchants and the fact that advertise karta hai the fact that advertising agency gimmick and all that all that really doesn't happen a good advertising agency and a good brand normally ensures that they don't talk anything which is false theek hai na बट पतंजलि क्या है पतंजलि रूल्स डज रूल एक्चुअली अप्लाई टू बाबा रामदेव ही थिंक्स नो सो ही डज वॉट ही वॉन्ट्स ही वुड रिलीज एड्स विथ टॉक्स विच पुट्स डाउन एलोपति ही वुड रिलीज एड्स विच वर टेक्निकली फॉल्सिफाइंग स्टेटमेंट्स he would put ads which were wrong which were mis- which was misguiding he would put ads the court told him don't but would patanjali listen now what happened today a bench of uh, justice uh, hima kohli and uh, asaduddin amanatullah the bench was very livid they were very livid with uh, patanjali and they said if this is indefensible then your apology will not work this is gross violation of undertaking given to the top court you have to ensure your undertaking which is a solemn should have been adhered to we can say that we do not wish to accept the media department does not know what is happening in this court and it is an island this is more of lip service you violated the solemn undertaking with impunity we are not willing to accept this and this is perfunctory what is the reason to accept your apology justice kohli remarked this is humbug you say if the court feels etc we cannot look into your heart this is not how contempt cases dealt with in some matters some cases have to be taken to the logical end there cannot be in any magnanimity you said documents have been attached but the documents you created later on this is a clear case of perjury we are not closing the doors on you but we are telling you that we have noted this is what the court said now like i said the court was livid now there are two three things we need to understand the first point i made is um, while this has all happened to patanjali we should look at it from a border perspective and you know what the border perspective is the border perspective is somewhere down the line our country has created a narrative our country has created or have started using religion religion for everything religion when it is used as a moral compass religion when it is used as a way of life it is beautiful when you but when you start using religion for politics when you start using religion for vote when you start using religion to sell marketing products when you start using religion to sell films then that religion which is meant for morality and to guide a way of life 
takes a different turn. Baba Ramdev used religion in a way to sell his product. Ayurveda is good because old sages said it, Hinduism said it, other products, allopathy products and all chemicals bad. What, how was he or his people qualified to make such assumption? And how, are, how did we as people even accept it? Allopathy is bad. Ayurveda is magic. Ayurveda can cure everything. There was a product called Coronil which claimed to cure COVID. What happened? Interestingly, our government also kept quiet and the court also mentioned it. The court said we have questioned Ayush. You issued a notice to Patanjali and they failed to reply and reply is not before us. And we are wondering why COVID was in 2022 and you yourself stated that these were the best supplements to the main medicine. This is not publicized at all. Nothing could move without central go ahead during COVID and you did nothing to make this known. It was a critical period. Are COVID ka dawai bana hai and you said that this is the best supplement. What are you talking about? Why the, the, the central government kept quiet? Why? They were using Ayurveda. They were using Hinduism. How could anybody say anything? The court asked, why did you shut up? Why didn't you say anything? It was so important. Now are you getting it? Now you understand when I say it's, it's, it's a larger uh, uh, picture. You have to see it from a larger spectrum. You can't, you're not creative. You can't make films. Your films don't do well. So create a film which is controversial, which is to do with Hinduism, which is to do with certain ideology. And you try to put that film up and make this into a nationalist film. <laughs> Works. Or at least they think it works. Normally it doesn't by the looks of it. People are a little more intelligent than that. You are marketing a toothpaste. Say it is directly from Hinduism, directly from Ayurveda. All Hinduism inside the toothpaste. Sell. Works. Tomorrow you want to sell a shirt, you will sell as Hinduism shirt. And it will sell. So I guess it has started now becoming a culture. That whatever you want to sell, whatever you want to put it up in the audience, use the word Hinduism or use the, the concept of Hinduism around it, market it that way and sell. People will buy it. At least that is what the assumption is. And you know what happens next? The next is about the people who do it. Baba Ramdev. At times, and which is happening quite often in this country, people become bigger than law, bigger than the country, bigger than everything that we Hold holy, bigger than the constitution. Hamne kiya hai. To hai. Or why and how would Patanjali dare to go against the Supreme Court? How would they dare go against the Supreme Court? They are saying that Hamko malumi nahi tha, BDI department ko malumi nahi tha. How could they dare go against the Supreme Court? This is the same Patanjali. When we had reported something about Patanjali, they had sent us a legal notice. Crush! Crush anybody who talks against, against you. Crush dissent. Isn't that, isn't that something which is very common nowadays? So Patanjali predominantly or this case predominantly or what the court said predominantly or what's happening around represents India. This is what's happening in India. I have a product. I want to push it in the market. I use religion and I push that in the market. Who dares question me? I say I can cure COVID. I, am say, I say I'm the best supplement of COVID. Even the government keeps quiet. Who questions me? I am the supreme. Because I manifest a religion. I wear certain kind of clothes. So I am supreme. Who questions me? Who questions me? And unfortunately, unfortunately, religion that again, I repeat, which, was, which is supposed to be used for morality, which is supposed to be used to, to define our way of life. Except for the defining part and except for morality, it is doing everything else. Morality to dikh nahi raha like I said, and I say every day, we saw that in electoral bonds, where our morality and everything stands, where our honesty and no corruption and khane dunga na khane dunga and all that, where it stands, we saw. Except for that, everything, everything is, is religion. And the more we are going to see this, believe me, more Patanjali's will come up. And you know what is the sad part? The sad part is we are supposed to be a global player. 
A sad part is we should be giving alternatives to Hindustan liver, Unilever worldwide. We should be giving a better product than close up, which should be an indigenous product or a Colgate or a or a or a or a Pez or a or a Pons or a Dove tomorrow. That's what India should be looking at. Making some brilliant products that the whole world would want to buy from us. That's what we should be looking at. And the moment you have these kind of products that are that represents India and that use India and Hinduism and, and, and all of that and put up in the world market, we will not only be shot down, we will be looked down on. And people, brands which are genuinely trying to do good work, genuinely trying to create good products, they will not get a chance. Who will trust us? Who will trust Indian products? Look at the disservice it is doing to India. While the court is talking about uh, contempt and how they have not adhered to what the court said, I am asking you, look at the loss it is creating. Look at the damage it is doing. And this Patanjali kind of brands and this, this, this Baba Ramdev kind of person people are doing for this country. Look at the damage it is doing in a larger level. Look at it, the damage it is doing to possibly MSMEs who are trying their best to create beautiful products and trying to market trying to create products that are possibly better than big MNCs and trying to market in the globe. Such, such impediments these kind of brands are causing. A, our brand image and B, our businesses. That's the point I wanted to make a short editorial, but uh, this is important. Till I see you next time, that's tomorrow at 10 p.m. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.